Oh, yeah. huge Chat. Love you guys, I want to watch this. This guy stole a package from my car, and a different guy stole my package from a porch, and he's about to open it in his car. Hello. But what he doesn't realize is this is the fourth generation of a new and improved oh custom-built bait package that is recording him on four phones and just released a pound of the world's finest glitter, and he's about to discover the other five new surprises for this year. Now I know what you're thinking. Isn't it a bit excessive to spend the last four years of your life trying to engineer the perfect revenge for Porch Pirates just because someone stole your package a few years ago? Yeah, 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 it is just a fine. Porch Pirates are degenerates. XQC People who steal packages from fucking porches are the absolute scum shit lords of the earth. I'm sorry, I said it, yes. People say, yeah, but th no, there's absolutely no justification for it. It's this fucking dog shit. You have no idea what's in the package. It could be somebody's fucking medicine for all you can. It could be something, it could be something very important. Have, it's fucking degeneracy, dude. Come Will on, do man. do anything about it? And to that I say no. And I'm gonna keep doing it every Christmas until we can make a dent in the two million packages that are stolen from porches every year. Plus, it's become such a delightful engineering challenge for me to try and think of all the different ways that we can upgrade it each year. And so with that, this is Glitter Bomb 4.0. And that is the first of five major upgrades this year. The lid shoots off as soon as the package thief tries to open it. Our original design to pull this off was a flywheel that spun up at irresponsibly dangerous speeds. Then we lowered these Thank wheels to make contact with the flywheel and they shared an axle with the gear, which then used a rack and pinion to launch the lid. But that was just way too over-engineered, even for my lofty over-engineering standards. So that's when we pivoted to a pneumatic system, but space is limited in the box. So we had to custom design these aluminum pressure tanks with a little help from my friends at Proto Labs. They hooked me up and made Six of these in like two oh, wow. days, which is why they're mine and your best friend for quick turnaround machine parts like this. So the tank is filled with air pressurized to 80 psi, and it's nestled here in the base. And then with the top half on, this? this Hall effect sensor right here can sense a magnet attached to the lid. So when the lid is lifted, it triggers the air to rush into the pistons, and the boxing gloves do the rest. And the second major improvement is this car horn, because that just feels like nice it's going to no things more exciting for everyone. I, so I, when I the lid first that. pops off. It actually sounds a little bit more like that. Then the third upgrade is the design of the glitter cup itself. This year, instead of an open cup like this that spins all the glitter out in one shot, we have a two-chambered cup like this, which means we get to fire the glitter three separate times. So the way it works is you pour glitter in the top chamber here and it fills up both chambers. And when the cup spins, the glitter in the lower chamber flies up and out the sides, but the glitter in the upper chamber is trapped due to the centrifugal force. Then when the cup stops spinning, gravity basically loads the next batch of glitter in the lower chamber for us. And so now, of course, it's ready to fly out on the next spin, and so on. This totally passive solution means we get to save one of our three glitter fires this year for when we get to the end of the Out Loud Countdown sequence. Now, of course, you'll still see the standard Not four bad. phones here that record the thief in all directions and upload the footage to the cloud, as well as these four canisters filled with 20% more fart spray of legitimately the worst smell you could possibly imagine, as demonstrated by the time I almost killed Macaulay Culkin himself. <laughs> I still smell it. <laughs> <laughs> the fourth upgrade is we have a dedicated onboard microphone to record continuous audio once the package is stolen. And the fifth is this outer casing is now made from this opaque machined acrylic. That means the entire glitter bomb now glows much brighter to light up the scene if it's open in the dark. And it just looks really dope when the whole box pulses red and blue as we play the fake Yo, I up some morning. Hello. a few minutes after being open. <laughs> To further encourage the thief Holy to get shit. rid of the box so we That's... can recover it. And then the final no, upgrade for the this Pokemon year scene. The band on episode. the glitter bomb itself. Last year we developed these doormats that would covertly charge the box on these contacts so it would be at full battery whenever it got stolen. And that was fantastic, but a lot of boxes were being taken at night, which was that. leading to footage that just wasn't that great. So to solve no, for that, a, this year we designed these planner boxes and when the sun goes down, the side raises up and they autonomously slide over to swallow up the glitter bomb, concealing it from any would be thieves in the night without the homeowner needing to hassle with bringing it in and out every day. Then, of course, in the morning, the process reverses and the box is ready to go. So now, when the bad guy comes what sneaking the by in the day and steals it off the porch, okay, the batteries dude, are guys, all at 100%. Guys, this is, yeah, this is one thing I also said. Yeah, this has gone too far. 
As this experiment has got a lot guys, what the charge, fuck? And the box knows it's no longer on the mat, so it starts recording and uploading footage to the cloud, in addition to texting us that it's been stolen and sending GPS location updates. And so if you compare Glitterbomb 1.0 through 4.0, you can really see the design evolution. And while my lawyers have already made it very clear that I am not allowed to sell this, if I did, it might look something like this. Glitterbomb 4.0 is our most advanced glitter bomb ever. Well, it's Beautiful. content. Complex, yet simple. A sleek and porch informed design now includes a car horn from a Toyota Corolla and 20% more fart spray. A completely redesigned multi spray glitter cup with a pound of our finest biodegradable glitter means your porch pirate will remember this moment for a very long time, but especially in direct sunlight. Oh, and there is one more thing. Introducing the world's first self-launching lid. Glitter Bomb 4.0. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, you can't even buy them. It's not even an ad. You can't even buy them. Anyway, because why would you buy them? Because sometimes revenge is a dish best served fabulously. Let's be honest. Then. If this was for sale, if this was for fucking sale, you know for a fact people would, would cut this shit to put like a bunch of crazy dangerous stuff in like pockets and with glass and some shit. Fucking, fucking so there it is. And while you can't buy Glitter Bomb 4.0, if you want to support more efforts like this, you can rock this stylish wireframe Glitter Bomb hoodie here. Or we've also got this cool retro pop art version for 4.0 with the boxing gloves, available of course only at markrover.com. And so now all that was left to do was to put it out on porches all across America and wait. And we didn't have to wait long. Oh no, really that much? Come on, man. Wait a sec. Is that who I think it is? No, and sure enough, no, Fortnite nuts had run out of walnuts. So no, instead of trying not. to make an honest squirrel's living, Fat Gus had apparently turned to a life of crime. Nah, and stop, of which, dude. I'd like to quickly point out that whether squirrels are stealing your bird seeds so you build them an obstacle course, or humans are stealing your packages so you go full home alone, the beauty about being an engineer is you can come up with clever solutions for your real life challenges. It's like a superpower, but a superpower you can learn. And I'd love to see other people catch that spark, which is why a few times a year, I teach a month long creative engineering course and enrollment for the new year session is open yeah, starting I don't right those now. Over the course of a month, you're gonna watch the new design do, I watch the ads from scratch. Like, but the best you know, part is, I'm gonna guide you to do. finishing three creative builds of your own. So whether you're a complete beginner or an experienced engineer, the class has been designed to meet you wherever you're at and level up your skills. So go to monthly.com slash Mark Rover, the link in the video description then go sign up as a new year's resolution goal and let's hang out making some cool stuff and now for the sparkly karma well, let's see it dude what holy shit so he hides it under some clothes, and a few minutes later, he brings in a consultant. It's a tracking device. What no, do no, we no, do? No, 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 no. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. What do we do? 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 for our most contemplative thief ever. What is he waiting for? I've sped this footage up to double time. So we helped him make up his mind with a third round of glitter, fart spray, and then the countdown. Is this gonna tank it? 15, 14. He's and just... as if stealing a glitter bomb wasn't a bad enough choice already, this guy doubles down and decides to open it in his car. Ah! 
What the fuck? It's worth mentioning, of course, we have to make multiple glitter bombs because sometimes they do take a beating. <laughs> and yet they battle through the pain like champs. And they're referring to our dead giveaway shipping label here with Harry and Marv on Wet Bandit Way. Okay, bad. dude. But I really want to open it. <laughs> and apparently they landed heads, because a few hours later, this happened. Fucking moron. What the fuck she says? Says you. This guy stole it and took it straight to a pawn shop to try and negotiate a deal. No, no, give me one more hundred then we're good. No. One more hundred, this is brand new, n***a small. The wrapping looks kind of weird. No, that's 2021. Let's open it and see if it's just in there first. One more hundred, One more hundred, Open it? Yeah, go ahead. And this one's hilarious to me, because if he wouldn't have got greedy, he could have walked out of there with 400 bucks. <laughs> and instead, he gets zero dollars and a bedazzled jacket. I know, dude, I know. And he had a deal, dude. Oh my god. Oh. Guys, I'm surprised that these videos, guys, with how popular these videos are, people don't know for a fact that these are like baits, and they don't, they don't take them and put them in a room for or some or somewhere for a good amount of, or try to I don't know, do some shit, put some some foil on it or some shit like that, right? So it doesn't it doesn't broadcast where it's at, and let the battery drain and get four free phones. Oh, fool you. mile to help us rinse off all the glitter followed up with a light dusting lady last year if you might recall we went up to san francisco aka the car breaking capital of the world and got a glitter bomb taken in a matter of minutes and while we never got them to actually open the box it did have an interesting conclusion I can bang you. I can bang you. So this year, naturally, we went back, and at the end of day one, we had no takers. But then we stopped for like two minutes to get some snacks he, for the trip home, wait. and when we came back- Wait, 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 he did fucking what? In conclusion. I can bang you. I can bang you. He shot the bucks? 
So this year, naturally, we went back, and at the end of day one, we had no takers. Oh, but then we I don't stopped that. for like two minutes to get some snacks for the trip home, and when we came back to the car, we saw this. They took the backpack with the GoPros, but left the freaking glitter bomb. Oh. So now it was definitely on. So we went back to that exact spot the next day, and within 10 minutes, this happened. And you can see here just how quickly they work. You can literally hear them doing another smash and grab here, not four minutes after they smashed our window. Come on, come on, come on, come on! And unfortunately, in all the jostling of stolen goods, the glitter bomb had a false trigger. And they were on to us. Boss! Boss? So if you keep a track at home, that's car thieves with three points and me with Wait, zero. What the fuck? Is this guy some sort of le leader boss? Without a single ounce of glitter being fired. Now, I'm not proud of that, but there is a silver lining here because the police rolled up on us after this break-in, and let's just say they are both familiar with and fans of the work being done here. In fact, they were actually tracking the guys that smashed our window, but then they lost them. So next year, I'll be joining forces with them in some capacity, and I'm giving a Mark Rover guarantee that I'm gonna get some points on the board and perhaps uncover how these guys run their whole operation in the process. So make sure you're subscribed if you don't wanna miss that. But it wasn't just the police who'd heard about the glitter bomb this year. Just like before, we also put some glitter bombs by a few group mailboxes, and I'm happy to report that the overwhelming majority of people do the right thing and either don't take it or even go out of their way like this nice lady. In fact, they were stolen approximately half as often as last year. So either people are getting more honest or perhaps, I don't know, enough people are uh, just, just, yeah, yeah. Fat is on the back, dude. In these videos, that it's the devastating power of glitter that's encouraging more civil behavior. And I'll just leave you with two pieces of evidence that kind of seem to support this working theory. Oh, lucky. Yeah, he's like, this guy's lucky. Oh, you son of a! Oh, it's one of those. Uh, yes. Oh wow! It's a prankster. I see that on TV, man. What's it do? It's you. What the fuck? What? The glitter that he showed on TV was that sticky kind. Of people from kicking people's stuff in the front of the house. God, right in my house. That thing has a tracer on it too. The cops are gonna be right outside. This is just a narrator. It's one of those package feed things that spread out fart and glitter. I wonder. This thing is gonna start talking in five, four, three, two, one. So just don't steal packages because it's not nice. But if you do need some extra incentive, just know you might guys, be opening next year. Yeah, guys, guys, what is wrong with these people, guys? Like, she suspects something is, is a tracking device and they decide to open it on their porch. Like, here's glitter bomb. One of those glitter bombs. What the fuck? And trust me, you don't want to meet version 5.0. <laughs> If you twist the bottom of this contraption, you will never have to reach into a Pringles can again. And this motorized fork means eating spaghetti has never been easier. This is a Ferris wheel for organizing your spices. And this device will save you if you're the only one in the house who likes your OJ pulp free. The way God intended. That was a good video, man. I actually enjoyed watching this a lot. That was really fun.